Well, if you're wondering why I'm carrying two watches, is because today we're talking about the everyday carry. I know I'm not wearing two watches. Hey, what is good everyone? Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we're talking about the things that I'm carrying with me every day when I'm traveling, when I'm going outside. Uh, hopefully that will happen more and more from now on because this vaccine is going uh, big and uh, people are uh, getting better with all this craziness pandemic and the virus and everything but until then I wanted to show you what exactly I'm uh, carrying with me in my uh, bag for all these beautiful days when we're gonna be able to go outside this is the everyday carry March 2021 things are changing most of the time and uh, I'm changing stuff that I'm carrying with me but for now this is what I have in my bag so first, let's start with the bag. This is not exactly the bag that I'm uh, wearing with me. Uh, this is a uh, pretty much an old bag that I bought on uh, BH Photo. I have no idea uh, how it's called. I can find it and put a link for you guys if you're interested in. But it's a very nice bag that has a letter on the front as well as this uh, vintage latch uh, that uh, it's a bit goldish uh, in color and it looks very nice uh, if you're wondering why it's not worn is because it's holding very well and um, this uh, material it's uh, i don't know how it's called the one that uh, they're making this that plastic uh, waterproof water resistant stuff it's very soft to touch but the water will just slip over and it's not gonna stick to it inside it has three compartments uh, one in the middle one on the left and one on the right and uh, you can basically fit two cameras in um, with small lenses and another lens in the middle or a flash or uh, something else. I'm uh, pretty much carrying this one when I uh, want to be uh, you know, lightweight and I don't care about having all the things that I'm going to show you in the other bag. Now, a nice thing about this one is that it has this uh, belt uh, strap that you can attach to your body and uh, it's going to be pretty much like a uh, fanny pack a little bit bigger fanny pack it's not that big uh, comparing to my let's say my hand it's a little bit bigger than that so it's not a big big um, bag that you should probably enjoy if you are like me and you like to have things with you all the time now let's get to the real bag the one that i am mostly carrying with me when i'm traveling or when i'm going uh, outside for a long period of time more than two hours three hours um, basically the whole day this is the stirrer it's an old uh, canvas bag uh, it's a waxed canvas that is uh, weather resistant um, it's uh, waterproof as much as it can be but uh, i didn't have any problems with it and i carry it with me all the time when i'm doing street photography like i said for all day I uh, am gonna start showing you what's in the pocket and I'm gonna end up with the cameras just to keep the uh, suspense a little bit uh, longer. And uh, let's start with the uh, front uh, pockets. So front pockets, there are two of them. One is right here and I usually put all the, uh, you know, microfiber cloth. This is not an uh, amazing pocket because it's gonna bulge your uh, bag in front and it's gonna look a bit uh, bad and uh, the other one is pretty much the same but it's behind it so uh, this is like in front and this one is on top but like i said it's more for documents and uh, stuff like that because if you're putting something bulgy it's gonna look bad in front of it now uh, inside the bag i'm gonna open the bag and that is the first thing that I hate about it it's the fact that I kind of hate um, velcro because it makes sounds and especially if you're shooting like me weddings and stuff like that uh, it's gonna be difficult to uh, you know open the bag without making a huge uh, noise and uh, attract uh, a lot of attention it happened um, so inside of it, uh, it's a uh, separator for cameras and lenses. Um, it's pretty much like the other one, but a little bit bigger. But you can tell that it has these two flaps that are flapping inside. And then when the back closes, pretty much it's sealed. So you don't have to uh, zip up. Uh, it does have a uh, zipper as well. Uh, it's right here. So you don't have to flap this on 
and zip it up if you don't want to. Now let me find the zipper. There it is. I am probably not going to use this ever, but now it's super sealed. Now you can throw it in the water and it's going to be still uh, good to uh, use everything inside after that. And uh, let's start with the first part in front of it right here. Uh, I just put my uh, everyday um, notebook that I'm carrying with me all the time and I uh, am writing all the ideas for uh, my uh, videos as well as uh, my um, photos and projects and everything else. I love this one. I love black and red and it does have a little bit of a gold touch. Just a tiny bit. It says music is the last thing we forget. Uh, it's a uh, um, quote from Mini Drake. I have no idea who Mini Drake is. So that is my everyday notebook. Now behind uh, this thing here, it's my iPad Pro. This is the iPad Pro uh, 11 inches 2019. And uh, I always carry it with me along with the Magic Keyboard. Um, I also have the pen that um, if you uh, are buying the iPad Pro, I think the pen is a must. It helps you edit, it helps you uh, control and write down notes and whatever you want to do. I'm using this one to uh, transfer the photos basically because I'm not carrying any kind of hard drives with me anymore. I used to carry my T5, but um, I think I lost one or something and I uh, stopped doing that and I'm going to carry the iPad with me and um, just transfer the photos if I need to on the iPad and then when I'm getting back home I'm gonna uh, unload the cards on uh, my computer. So that is the iPad Pro and the Magic Keyboard. Now um, I think that's it on the sides. Now right here on the side are my favorite to carry uh, obviously AirPods Pro because I'm using uh, Apple uh, devices and these are connecting very fast and the sound is not bad at all actually uh, they sound pretty good for you know traveling and for listening music when, I, when you're shooting and stuff like that so this is what I'm carrying with me all the time uh, the case is a case from Amazon it's a cheap case uh, it's rubberish and uh, it feels very very nice actually and looks amazing uh, it's a bit bulkier, but I don't, I don't mind as long as it protects the AirPods Pro. On the other side, we have my wallet. You're probably wondering why I'm keeping my wallet in this open pocket here. Uh, so this is where my wallet sits. And uh, I'm keeping it here because this bag rarely stays on my back. It mostly stays in front of, uh, on my belly. And... Uh, I don't mind having the wallet easy to access in case I want to buy something, uh, you know, water or uh, something to eat. Uh, I don't have to just dabble with everything around me. And the wallet is just a uh, piece of leather, uh, three fo times foldable wallet uh, that I uh, have everything inside. Well, my wallet is just a simple leather um, wallet, foldable in three and uh, it's very small, it's uh, pretty portable and uh, very soft leather, I love it. It's nothing fancy, I uh, will probably switch to something smaller because this one is a bit bulkier, but I, I'm pretty happy with it. Now going into inside, the bag has a pocket right here like probably any other messenger bag. Uh, it zips up and down. Now in this pocket right here, I have all the small things that I need when I'm going out. And first is my phone. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, it's a great phone. I love it. And I put a case. It's, this is a case cool uh, case. Um, they're not very expensive, but they're very well built. And uh, it, something came out with this case that I'm very happy uh, that I have. And now I'm carrying with me is this uh, phone holder that it's foldable so it's very good for um, everyday carry now i always keep extra uh, microfiber cloth with me and this one is sealed it's new uh, i have it from san jose camera uh, when we used to live in san jose uh, not anymore and uh, my favorite 
cloth, obviously. Uh, not sponsored. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it's not sponsored in any way, but I do love this Fujifilm microfiber cloth that has the uh, logo on the front and in, inside it feels like a towel. It's very soft, very nice. Now also right here I have my everyday knife. Uh, this is a knife that I bought, I'm not sure, I think it was a hunting store or something like that. I, it's not branded or anything. It's just a simple knife, but it's very light. And I also have another knife that I really appreciate. This is a knife that uh, I'm not sure how many of you know about this brand. It's an old timer knife. The handle is made out of um, bone and it's beautiful. It's very small, very portable, super sharp. This is very good for you know cutting um, envelopes and uh, opening boxes. But I use it for a lot of stuff, uh, sharpening uh, crayons and so on and so forth. So these are the two that I have. I'm not always carrying both of them, but uh, now I wanted to show it to you and show off my old timer knife. And obviously the brush and uh, the soft uh, flat surface that you can clean your lens uh, of dust, the front elements usually or the back elements. These are very useful and uh, you'll probably get one uh, if you're buying anything on Amazon related to photography because that's what they're doing these days. Now, um, obviously I'm carrying one battery, uh, at least one uh, spare battery with me when I'm going out to shoot because, because Fujifilm batteries. And uh, let's get to the cameras. My camera of choice is obviously the Fujifilm X-E3. Uh, this is the camera that I am taking with me all the time when I'm going outside. Um, as you can tell, I tagged it right here so nobody knows what it is, though it says Fujifilm on uh, the top of it. Um, so, yeah. But uh, this is my camera of choice as well as the 27mm f2.8. Why I'm using this one is because it's small, uh, very portable. I can put it in my pocket. I don't need to carry this if I want to just grab the camera and go out and shoot. Uh, it's very reliable. It has a great autofocus, also amazing colors. And I have pretty much all the Fujifilm simulations and I do have some recipes um, that I uh, build myself uh, using the uh, settings for highlights and shadows and colors and sharpness and everything else. So this is the one that I am carrying with me uh, for now. Uh, if that changes, I'm gonna let you know. But I love this camera and I love the combo, the 27mm f2.8 Mark One, not Mark II. So it's not a weather resistant uh, lens. Also right here, we have another great camera. This is the Minolta X700. Um, it's a SLR camera that shoots film. And this is my go-to camera for shooting anything when it comes to film, if I want to shoot fast, it has uh, have a little bit of help because it uh, has an aperture priority and also program mode. Uh, it takes a battery inside to meter uh, for uh, exposure and everything. So uh, other than being autofocus, this is a fast camera to shoot street photography if you are into that kind of stuff. And it's, it's very, very nice. It's a very small and very portable camera. If you look at the, these two are pretty comparable, uh, not bigger, not smaller than each other. They're, they're pretty much the same um, measurements, the, the same size. I, uh, I do love them both and I'm using them both when I'm going out because you never know when you need something that uh, might create that vintage look and it's going to be better than just a digital uh, look. And uh, the last things uh, that I wanted to show you are a few cables and uh, this uh, battery pack. This is an anchor battery pack that I'm using to charge all my devices as well as the cables and USB-C and a uh, lightning cable for my phone. Uh, these are good if you're on the go and you might not know when you're coming back and you know the batteries are depleted. Uh, these days pretty fast because we're using all kinds of things from Wi-Fi to, uh, you know, um, Bluetooth and all that stuff that depletes the batteries fast. So these are the things uh, that I'm using to charge my phone. And also I do, I forgot to show you, this is the uh, card reader and the 
let's say hub for my um, iPad Pro. I'm using this one to uh, read all my SD cards when I'm on the go and like I said, unload everything that's on the SD card in my um, iPad Pro. And uh, also I have an HDMI out if that is any help, uh, you know, you're ending up in a hotel or something like that and you need to uh, project everything that you have on your iPad. And uh, two USB A 3.0. I'm sorry for the camera, it's not focusing because I have the uh, face detection on and uh, it always searches for my face. So that's why I'm trying to put my hand and uh, make these things a little bit sharper for you guys to see. And you're probably wondering how I carry my cameras when I'm shooting. So uh, I'm using this handmade uh, wrist strap that I made uh, myself. Uh, this is just um, paracord, um, you know, braided paracord that looks very nice. And I do love uh, pink and black and yellow and many, many colors because I'm a photographer and I think you do too. But I do love these ones. And uh, one goes on, uh, let's say, my XC3. Usually the restrap goes on my XC3. And the other one, which is a neck strap, and I'm not usually use neck straps because it kind of bothers me to have something, you know, um, bouncing on my chest and hitting me uh, all the time when I'm moving. But this one is pretty nice. Um, it's a, uh, I think it's an Optic USA. Um, I, I'm not sure, but it's uh, made out of neoprene. Uh, it's kind of, um, you know, has a, some sort of elasticity to it. And uh, the um, system to uh, actually put it on the camera, it's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, you are pushing this thing down and then the uh, strap itself goes off. So you're pushing this down. Can you even imagine how much I talked if I filled a 64 gigabytes card already? Oh my God. Okay, so what I was seeing is that this small thing um, bounces up and down and it has a little notch here that you can take uh, this off. You're uh, putting it through the ear of your camera and then uh, you're uh, putting it back and just slide this thing off and that's it. It's not the fastest, obviously, but uh, it, I like the way it uh, locks on camera and I like the way it holds it and the fact that it's, it has a little bit of elasticity and it bounces a little bit. It's pretty, pretty fun. It's not going to cut your uh, neck um, and uh, even your shoulders if you're holding it on your shoulder. Now, as stupid as it sounds, I showed you two watches when I started the video um, and I never say a word about it. So this one obviously is the Apple Watch. Everybody knows it. And the complication on top, it's called Lumi, L-U-M-I. Uh, it's a, a complication that, and an app that shows you exactly when the golden hour and the blue hour and the sunset and the sunrise are uh, based on your location. And it's a great, great app to have, uh, especially when you're going out to shoot, to uh, make sure that you have the light that you want to. I love this app. And uh, the watch is just Apple Watch. I, I won't say I love it. But it's a great watch. It's useful for notification and stuff like that. I'm not using it for fitness on whatever people uh, definitely not using it as uh, a uh, at full power at, as a it was meant to to be. And the other watch is a watch that I got from my wife on my birthday. Uh, this is a uh, an watch that represents an aperture lens. I hope you can see it. And uh, it shows you the aperture on the back, on the black, and then there are a few uh, writings on the side. It has a red uh, and uh, white and black, my favorite colors, uh, like I said. And I do love this watch. The bracelet has red stitching and uh, it actually looks very nice and it feels very well. Uh, it, the leather is a bit uh, stiff and uh, that is something that I don't enjoy much. This one, as you can tell, it's also leather, but I... Uh, um, chose something that it's super 
uh, soft and uh, it moves on my wrist. I'm not holding my watch here like everyone else. I'm actually holding it down the wrist uh, very close to my uh, hand. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. This is all the EDC for 2021 uh, March. Like I said, things might change. Uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, I hope I didn't bore you too much. Um, have a, an amazing weekend and uh, don't forget to stay focused, my friends. Subscribe to the channel and give these videos a thumbs up and I will definitely see you in a bit.